Tuesday Night Action brings us five games in the game, and we take a look at all of them. My name is Andreas Sachinka, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We travel first to Yekaterina Morgoroth's on the list meet Vitez. This one is all about goals. Alexey Makeyev scores his fifth of the year just 17 seconds into the game. Pavel Datsuk has an assist on the play. Vitez tied up late in the period. Matthias Tadenbu finds the back of the net on a power play. Justin Denforth with a helper. And they score in rapid fire in the second. Linus Holstrom nets his first career KHL goal to give Vitez a 2-1 lead. Nine seconds later, Ivan Larcher picks up the loose puck in the high slot and slings it into the back of the net to make it 3-1 for the visitors. Soon after that, Datsuk draws his second assist of the game as Charles Ganaway converts on a two-man advantage. And just 31 seconds later, after Mbilis get another power play goal. 18-year-old Ilya Ovchinikov has his first in the big league, and this one is tied at threes. No scoring in the third, and it ends in overtime. Kaspers Daugavins beats Jakob Kovarsh of a great individual effort. Look at him skate away from Datsuk. Vitas win in exciting fashion. 4-3 overtime is your final. We're gonna make a quick stop in Chalivans now, where Tractor play helps to Sarah style. First period, Tractor and a power play cross ice pass, and one time of a Vitaly crops up, but is denied by Vladislav Pogipalski. Later in the period, Denis Mikorev waits for a play to develop, throws it in the slot, redirection, and Ivan Pizdatov makes himself look big. Needed for the second period, now transition play by Sarah style, and this time they hit the post. Veteran Yuri Trubachov brings it off the pipe. The only goal of the game comes in the third period. Artem Gorev scores his first goal for Severstal as Ivan Fedotov fails to cover up the puck on the play. Vladislav Podipolsky stops 21 shots for his seventh career KHL shutout, and Severstal take it 1 0 on the road. We're off to Ufa now, where Salavati Live defend the ice against Sochi. The Virsas get on the board 9 minutes into the opening frame. Alek Pogorichny puts the puck on net of the half wall, and rookie Dmitry Kalgaran skillfully redirects it past Yuka Metzela. Second period now, Vladimir Zharkov makes a saucer pass to the hash marks. Dmitry Kugushev gets his lumber on it, the puck hits the bar and lands just outside the goal line. Amazingly enough, that did not go in. The Leopards double the lead soon after that. Sergei Shmilovsky is behind the net, backhand pass to the far post, and Nikita Tachitsky sends it in with a deflection. Ansel Galimov is credited with the goal. Tachitsky gets a marker of his own meter for the period. He carries it in on an up man rush, toe drag, and score! Sochi lead 3 0 now. It's not over though. Sakari Maninen cuts into that lead just 16 seconds later as he scores his third of the year, and it's 3 1 after 40. Third period now, Salavat with a two-man advantage. Sakari Martin and gives it to Shakir Makumadul and he fires it on that and hits the crossbar. They get back to within one a few seconds later. Alexander Kajakin draws the second assist of the night as Dmitry Kugushev nets it from the slot. The last minute of the period now, extra attacker is out there for Salavat and they get it over the goal line. Cheeky move by Timo Hardikainen, but it won't do. Distinct kick emotion of the play, so it doesn't count, and they run out of time. Sochi beats Salavat on the road for the first time since 2016. 3 2 is your final. This is a big one. Top Eastern teams clash in Kazan tonight as Ogbars face Avangard. We go to Tatneft Arena for the action. The house opened up the score in just under 13 minutes into the first period. Stanislav Galiev shoots from the hash marks and scores his fifth goal of the season, thus extending his point streak to six games. Second period now, Nikita Lankin shoots through traffic. Victor Tikhanov deflects the puck in front of the net and hits the iron. Just a 10 unlucky. Hogbars take two consecutive minors led in the frame and the Hogs get a power play goal out of it. Oliver Kaski shoots from midpoint and it gets in of Dmitry Yudin. Side game. This one goes all the way to the shootout and former Moncton Wildcat Alexander Kavanov is the only one who converts in his attempt to win the extra point for Akbar's 2-1 shootout as your final occasion tonight.
Last game of the night takes place in Nizhnikamska's troubled Neftikimik and Amor go up against each other. The Tigers strike less than 4 minutes in. Alexander Polunin gets on his jet, wheels to the net and roofs it past Konstantin Barolin on the glove side. Amor make it a 2 0 hockey game 10 minutes later. Artur Gizdatolin plants himself in the slot and redirects home Yuri Sergeyenko shot for his first career KHL goal. Opening shift of the second period is over four minutes long and Amor almost further extends their lead on it, but Barola makes a spectacular glove save on Daniel Faisalin's clapper. The Wolves respond shortly after that. First Timur Hafizov nets it from the slot. Timur Sharifyanov with a gorgeous setup from behind the net. And a few minutes later, captain Alexander Kuchiravin goes for his fifth goal of the year. He's on a four-game point streak. Late in the third, now Amor make a horrendous line change, paving the way for Timur Hafizov to the net, but Marek Langheimer bails out the Tigers. This one goes to the shootout as well. Nail Yakupov goes 2 for 3 for Amor, but Liber Gudashek ends up getting the winner. Neftikimi can raise a two goal deficit and take two points on all mice. 3 2 shootout as you final. And that's it for a daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow as we're gonna have one more game for you to enjoy. SKA St. Petersburg will host Sibir. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.